Hello everyone and welcome to Sky Scholar. Over the years, Sky Scholar has benefited from the support of many people, including so many followers. Today, I wish to express my thanks while at the same time point my audience to other channels where my work is presented or where I have been interviewed. Most viewers of Sky Scholar are aware that Ben Davidson has been one of my greatest supporters. Ben's devotion to highlighting the latest information relative to the sun, astronomy, and space weather has been second to none. He has repeatedly promoted this channel and its videos. As an example, when the clip on the Haruni antenna was released, his mere mention of it had a huge and immediate impact. Today, that video has over 140,000 views on YouTube. Several years ago, Ben also invited me to speak at his conferences, and the links can be found below. In many respects, these represent some of my best talks. I first met Ben at the Electric Universe conferences, and the videos for these talks can also be found below. Alexander Unzaker has also been a key supporter. Before I had even met him, he presented a talk before the German Astronomical Society promoting my work on the sun. This required a great deal of courage. After myself, Unzaker was the first person to present a public lecture about the condensed nature of the sun. The link to this lecture can be found below. Since that time, Alexander and I have become friends, and I even had a chance to stay at his home in Munich. At the time, Alexander also interviewed me, and the link to that video is also included. Currently, Alexander is writing a book about the sun, which he hopes to complete in the coming year. He has a YouTube channel where you can find other interviews from many of the luminaries in modern physics, including several Nobel Prize winners. The links to his channel, Real Physics, once again can be found below. Of course, if I am to express gratitude, I must mention Dmitry Rabunsky, the founder of Progress in Physics, along with Larissa Borisova and Florentine Saradanchi. Dimitri's emphasis on academic freedom, as found in his declaration, expresses the entire raison d'être of progress in physics. If you have never read Dimitri's declaration, I encourage you to do so. In addition to publishing many of my papers, Rabunsky and Borisova wrote a textbook in which liquid stars are discussed at length. The link to this work and to Dimitri's declaration can be found on the Progress in Physics website, which is also included below. But most importantly today, I wish to take a moment to highlight the existence of a relatively new channel, both on YouTube and in podcast form. These channels were started by two young scientists, Michael DeLay and Anastasia Bendaburi. They received their PhDs from Columbia. Michael studied under Osgor Sahin, a professor of biological sciences and physics at Columbia. He worked mainly on atomic force microscopy and water mechanics. Anastasia studied the electrical nature of bacterial communication. You can read more about demystifying science through the links provided below. For these episodes, Michael and Anastasia adopt the identity of two aliens, Mickey and Quinn, who visit the Earth in order to better understand humans and their science. Their channel currently hosts one podcast with Steve Crothers, released on June 14, 2021. There is also an episode featuring Professor Jerry Polak, released on May 10. This summer, I recorded four episodes for Demystifying Science, one on the birth of ultra-high field MRI, one on Kirchhoff's Law, one on the liquid metallic hydrogen model of the sun, and one on the microwave background. The first of these two have just been released, and the next two will be released later this month. Each of these episodes is approximately two hours in length, so there will be nearly eight hours of podcasts. In addition, these podcasts provide for an informal setting, and you will learn a few fun stories about my life and my progress through science. I really hope that everyone will tune in to Demystifying Science and watch the YouTube videos or listen to the podcast. The introductions for these two are slightly different, but they have identical soundtracks after the first 30 seconds or so. 
you might find that the quality of the audio recordings of my first podcast is not quite as good as one might hope, but this is corrected in the next three. In this regard, if you can support demystifying science, that would be great. Michael and Anastasia are a young couple trying to bring science to a broader audience. They need your help in promoting their new channel. This is a full-time endeavor for them, and the support they receive from their followers is important. They do have a Patreon account for those who wish to contribute. Well, that is all for today. I hope that each of you will click on the links you have not viewed in the past, watch the Russian documentary we spoke about last time, and listen to the podcast. In the meantime, if you enjoyed the video today, promote the channel, mention the videos to your friends and to your local astronomy club, support me with a like, subscribe for more videos as we look more closely at the sun, the stars, and beyond. Comments are always welcome down below, and I'll see you soon on our next video.